hi guys so i am back for today's video um just letting you know that things are going pretty good with my skincare results and i'm really happy um somebody asked me a question they wanted to know what is my end goal okay so i really do love how my skin is looking right now um so my end goal is to completely even out um right now there's definitely areas that need to still get lighter, right? So my face and my chest look really, really good, but I have such a bad suntan on my arms, hence why I am wearing this little sweater here <laughs> and my legs and my back, okay? So I am still working on it. We're still working on it, okay? Um, and that's my end goal. Like, I just want to be completely even, and I want my complete skin tone to be all as one you know as you guys always ask me all the time does it or does glutathione lighten from or lightens from within does it lighten the entire body equally yes it does but if you are somebody who is multicolored i don't know if that's the right word but if you have different skin tones all over because you were in the sun and you said hey sunblock on my face not on my back and on my arms because i am just like that um, then that's gonna be darker and when I was younger I was in sports and so I first of all did not even know I didn't know sunblock was something necessary for me so I was my legs are are so much darker my back is so much darker my arms and that's all just like sun damage you know and hyperpigmentation and whatever so it's everything that needs to get you know fixed by glutathione so that's I'm still on my glutathione journey and that's my angle so yeah anyway this video is just gonna be super brief um, I do want to talk about skin lightening during pregnancy and I also want to talk about um, what I did when I was breastfeeding uh, I want to start by saying I'm not a health care provider in any way shape or form and if you need advice or you need to talk to somebody uh, and you're pregnant, please, 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 I beg you, talk to your healthcare provider, okay? I'm just talking about what I've heard, um, you know, advice that I've seen and stuff like that. I'm not telling you guys to do this, okay? So don't, nobody come in the comments and be like, you told me, don't say that to me. Mm -mm, I told you to talk to your healthcare provider. Okay, so let's get into this video. I'm gonna just go ahead and start by some of the advice that I, you know, read about, heard about, et cetera, et cetera, and then I'll talk about what I did. So, when it comes to skin lightening and it comes to just trying to maintain your skin tone or even just trying to lighten and you wanna start during pregnancy, um, you're gonna to wanna to do only natural products. You don't want to allow any steroids of any type or any hydroquinone of any type or anything like that of any type to go into your system. So just make sure you're reading your labels, make sure that you're seeing all natural products. Um, you don't want anything that has any retinoid in it. You don't want anything that has retinol or, you know, adapalene, did I say it right, adapalene? Something like that. You don't want anything like that, okay? So the things you're looking for, I'm gonna try to Think of it off the top of my head and also list it because I honestly, sometimes I'm, I'm just talking to you guys. I talk to you guys like I'm just talking to a friend, so I don't really write anything, write anything down. Um, but so what you're looking for, ingredients that are okay to use. Um, Seppi white is fine to use. Um, you're okay with lactic acid. You're okay with glycolic acid. You're okay with kojic acid. Um, you are okay with bilberry extract. You are okay with um, Giga White. Um, I'm trying to think of all the ones that I can remember right now. There's a lot. Um, I hear that alpha arbutin is okay, but it does, that chemical compound when you, it goes into the bloodstream does change into hydroquinone, so I'm not 100% sure about that one. Um, we think if I can think of any other ones right now. Sorry. Bulberry extract is fine. Um, licorice root extract is also fine. Um, any lotion that has glutathione as the ingredient 
is okay to put on the skin okay um so anything like that is okay to use um during pregnancy so um also something that really really helps too is to exfoliate um so i have my little exfoliating glove right here okay so exfoliate three times a week with your exfoliating glove and find a nice kojic acid soap um, to exfoliate in the shower with and so on the days that you're not exfoliating with the kojic acid soap um, or glycolic acid soap or lactic acid soap those are all good um, the things that oh what was I saying so on the days that you're not exfoliating right you're going to just put that soap on your skin let it sit on your skin for about three to five minutes and then you're gonna wash it off okay so that's another really good thing to do um to help you to you know lighten or maintain your skin lightening um serums are fine creams are fine as long as they contain all natural ingredients as listed below then you're fine okay but talk to your healthcare provider before using any of these things so what i did right um so i did not particularly try to lighten my skin as you're gonna see in this picture right here i am back to dark so i did not particularly try to lighten my skin but i prepared for skin lightening and i started lightening my skin um during the breastfeeding stage so what i did when i was pregnant is i was using amalactin I think I said that right because I know I've said it wrong before and somebody told me but anyways I used this I also was doing the exfoliating in the shower with the kojic acid soap um, and that's really all I did I didn't use any like really like I didn't use any skin lightening products um, but I would really say that whole time as I was preparing it really helped make sure that by the time i wanted to start lightening my skin my skin was ready and prepped so i started lightening my skin as soon as the baby came out <laughs> i started lightening and uh, it took me about three months only to get back to a very light skin tone so i was really really happy with that um and i did start taking glutathione again by the way so i just want to touch on this again um, a lot of people ask me, can I take glutathione um, during pregnancy? And whoa, that one is a, you can't ask me that one because I am not a healthcare provider, but I can tell you what I've heard and what other people have told me. So I had a lovely woman once tell me, well, several, that um, she had a, she actually got pregnant using glutathione, which a lot of times that really really helps because I that's how I got pregnant I got pregnant by using glutathione which was absolutely amazing and uh, she told me she got pregnant by using glutathione because she was struggling she had never um, been able to get pregnant and uh, so she talked to her healthcare provider about it and she was like hey you know I'm using glutathione I just want to know can I continue using it you know during pregnancy and the healthcare provider was Asian and so as you know in the Asian community um, glutathione is quite popular so he was cool he was completely cool with it so he said yes um, and so that's one story I've heard I've heard a lot of women just tell me in general that they've gotten pregnant from glutathione but that's the one person that really told me they continued taking it through throughout their pregnancy and she was perfectly fine um, I didn't do it um, I just get kind of like leery about taking anything but a prenatal but um i tried to take a little bit of vitamin c i didn't take really high doses of vitamin c um stuff like that so i feel like i didn't maybe get as dark as i could have i don't know uh but yeah so that's kind of really what i would say about that but i just lightened after and um this time i had i was using glutathione i was using you know skin lightening products and it really worked within three months and it was really awesome and you know typically after pregnancy it's a little easier to lighten your skin too because when you're pregnant all the hormones and stuff makes you much 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 darker faster um but yeah so 
that's all this video is about today. Um, I hopefully I touched on everything I needed to touch on. I feel like I'm missing something. But if I am, I'm just going to link it down below. So I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you're having an amazing Tuesday. And okay, bye.